question about who they call the Messiah. You got a question, man? Yeah, I had a question. What's your guys' names? Our names? Esakar. Esakar? Esakar. What's your or name? Or the Hebrew, your Shashkar. What's your, what's your first, es first, first name? Esakar. Esakar? Esakar, yeah. What's your name? Esakar. You're both Esakar? Yeah, we're both Esakar. Oh, but yeah. you're named by the tribe then, or not? That's yeah. That's personal name? So that's, that's our personal name. That's that's oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's a car. That's a car. No Shosh car. What, if, what do you guys think about John 3.16? Okay, well, before we get John 3.16, let's get John 17 and... Uh, I pray for John 3.16. Yeah, we're going to deal with that, John 3.16. Because the Bible deals with context. No? Hola uh, español, jefe. Yes. Uh, la, la Biblia está en contexto. Uh -huh. No nada más podemos leer una escritura y ya es todo. Claro. Tenemos que leer el, el context cuando cuando tú estudias la palabra context, con means with, text with settings. Uh -huh. So you gotta know who, what, when, yeah. where, yeah, why, how. I, I got it. Yeah. So you can't just read John 3:16, God so loved the world, and that's it. Close the book. Uh -huh. there, there's an actual history of why God said, look. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Yeah. But why did He do that? But well, before we bring it out, we're going to bring this one out. This is the book of John, chapter 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Wait, but I thought God loves the world. Go ahead. This is the book of John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So these are 14 chapters after John 3.16. Uh -huh. So is the Bible contradicting itself where John 3.16 says what? For God so loved the world. But right here it says what? I pray for them, I pray not for the world. But yeah, I thought but he loved the John, world. John 3, 15 doesn't mean that he, he's going to take the whole world. Yeah, exactly. He loved the world. Yeah, but so someone can reject him. So but, we're going to tell you what. That wasn't, when, when you, that wasn't my question. I wasn't, I wasn't really yeah. trying to get to that. I guess I was just asking my question if I'm taking you yeah. to John 3, 15. Yeah. I was wondering, like, what's the message? Okay. Like, and, and we're actually... Well, we'll here, break I'll down. break it down. Yeah, go ahead. Give me John 3 and start in context. Chapter, right. th chapter 3, verse 1. We're going to see who Yahweh Shai was talking to when he said uh, for John 3.16. He said John what? Chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Did you, did you believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Yeah, uh, we believe, well, his, his name is uh, English, which means Jesus. I mean, yeah, his, his Yeshua. His name is Yahweh Shai. Uh, Yeshua yeah, we, or, we call it Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, because that's a paleo Hebrew. That's what he used to Okay. Speak. But right, I mean, John 3 and 1? Chap chapter 3 and 1. Okay, this is, in context. This, so. this is the context. John 3 and 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, People are proud now. which today the Jews are who they call the so-called Negroes. So-called Negroes, they back to the, they go back to the descendants of the Jews, Judah, uh -huh. Benjamin, Levi. So John three and one it says there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with them. So this was a Pharisee that was a ruler of the Jews. Now give me Hebrews 7, 6, 7 and 14. Right, this is the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. And it reads, For it is evident that our Lord, so this is a pronoun, our Lord, sprang out of Judah. Judah, mm -hmm. from the 12 tribes. Yeah. Right. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Moses was from the tribe of Levi when he was when we were free from the Egyptians it was the Israelites. Now let me get Exodus 3 and 15. Right. There's the book of Exodus oh, wait, chapter wait, wait, 3. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Bro. What's the point of the book? No, we're, we're, we're going to break we're it gonna, down. We're breaking it down because we got to go precept upon precept, line upon line. Talk about context, right? Okay. So what we're doing, we're building up and then we're going to give you the straight answer. So you get the actual understanding because we just can't go one scripture and close the book. Yeah, no, I know what you're yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Exodus 3 and 15. Alright, there's a book of Exodus 3 and 15. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. So God made a covenant with Abraham. Abraham uh -huh. had two kids. The first one was Ishmael, which was with his hands made of his wife. Mm -hmm. And then he made a covenant with Isaac. And then Isaac had two kids, which was Esau and Jacob. Yep. And he got who got the covenant was Jacob, who later on became Israel. Now let me get Matthew. Where are you guys going with this? Matthew 24. 
Yeah, we're building up, bro. We're going to give you the, the straight answer right now. Let me get Matthew 22, verse 31 to 32. This is Matthew 22, 21 to 32. Yeah, 22, verse 31 and 32. Okay, Matthew 22 and 31. And this is Jesus Christ. In, in red letters. Red letters. It says, But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have you not read that which is spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, which is the twelve tribes. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when and when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his teachings. So going back to John 3, 16, so God loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Then how come right here, Jesus Christ is saying that he's the God of Israel? Well, not the God, God of, of the Abraham, dead. Isaac, and Jacob. Now let me get Acts 3 and 13. Right. It's a book of there's a book of Acts chapter 3. And you said uh 13, 13. right? This is Acts 3 and 13, and it reads, The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom he delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. What version are you reading? Let me get uh, King James. Oh, King James. Yeah. Let me get Luke 1 and 68. Yeah, there's the book of Luke, chapter 1. Now we're gonna hit the we're gonna start hitting the points. We're gonna start hitting the points now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep. I'm not paying attention yet. All right, tell them what you're gonna say. Okay. Now we're gonna start hitting the main points so you can get the understanding. Luke, Luke one sixty eight. Luke chapter one and sixty eight. I'll start at sixty seven. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he prophesied, saying, "Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for He has visited and redeemed." His people, so you say you're a Peruano, which goes back to the Incas, which most likely you're from the northern tribes, you would be his people, the Israelites. And, and that's a blessing, bro. Um, okay, verse 69. And he has raised up a power of salvation for us and the house of his servant David, which is also Hebrew Israelite, King David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, and all the prophets of the Bible, they're all Hebrews. Jeremiah, he was a Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, he's a Hebrew. Uh, verse 7. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. There you go, since the world began. And that's the world of Israel. When you read Isaiah 49, 45 chapter, it says, Israel shall be a world without end. So that word world has three meanings. It's, uh, what is it, cosmos, eon, and oikinem. That whole concept of world goes back into what? It says the world of Israel only. Just like here in San Diego, we have Sea World. You got the world of the zoo. You got the world of different nations. Sports. The world of sports. So that world in John 3.16 yeah. is the world of Israel. Yeah, we, we, we understand that the Lord loves us. Now go, go to Romans 9 and 13. Okay. Say no, that no, he no, loves, no. right? I mean, let, let, me, let me just right. say something. Right. Uh, uh, we, know, we know that the Lord believed, the, the Lord loved people from the 12 tribes. And uh, we, we know that Abraham was his chosen, yeah. and also his descendants are chosen. There are people of Israel. Yeah. But the Bible is always teaching the Gentiles. Yes. Yeah. Bring and he's gonna, and he's gonna put them together. Yeah. As a church. Yeah, because those are you know the word Gentile. You know it has two meanings, right? Yes. What are the meanings? Uh, that they are not Jewish. Yeah. You know. So so the word Gentile, the and the con, because Apostle Paul. He was sent to teach the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And when you go into the different context of the word Gentiles, okay. it's Hellenista, Hellenized. Yeah, Greek or something. Yeah, yeah, and the word Hellenized, when you study the history, uh -huh. it was actual Israelites who, who lost their heritage. They started getting tattoos, they started eating pork, they yeah. weren't getting circumcised. Uh -huh. So that's who Apostle Paul went to, uh -huh. to go teach those Israelites who were not actual, matter of fact, go Matthew.